The Model X is an SUV like no other. I mean, the thing looks like a spaceship. The driving experience is like nothing else. I mean, look at the windshield. It, it just doesn't stop. If you ever get the opportunity to be in this thing, it's crazy. It's $150,000. It's one of the highest priced SUVs on the market today. Everything is streamlined. It's clean. The handles tuck away. The inside, there's nothing to get in the way. It's the giant iPad in the center that creates this attention grabbing aesthetic. The seats, the leather, the way everything is lined out is just so futuristic. There's just nothing like it on the market today. Uh, you know, and now we're gonna go drive it. I'm Tim Walbridge. This is Martel Webster. He was just gonna introduce himself, but I did it for him, so go ahead. <laughs> so we are here with Martel's Tesla Model X. Uh, this is one of the first thousand that were delivered. We brought in for Martel. We sat and wrapped it. We put some Vossa VPS 305 wheels on it. We lowered it down a tiny bit. We had Music Car Northwest add a subwoofer inside for it so Martel's beats could come through. And so today, Martel and I are gonna go cruise around. Who wants to be behind the wheel? I think you should start. You want me? Okay. Let's go. Okay. We're off. We're off. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta go down to the supercharger station. Because I decided dead as it is dead as So I'm behind the wheel this time, and we're gonna do Montanamo mode. Do you remember when I did the episode with uh, Marshawn Lynch? Yes. And we were in the 7 Series, and we were actually talking about this car, and he was like, You put that thing in automatic drive, what you call it? Uh, autonomous. Autonomous. Autonomo, that sounds cooler though. You put it in autonomo. Mm -hmm. or whatever though, and, and you hit yep. one of these right here. Mm -hmm. So now, I can't, that's what I call it now, is autonomous, like, and everyone's like, that's not what it's called. Well, like, Beast Mode says it, then that's what goes, but it's, man. I think it's called autonomous mode. I think it sounds better anyways. It does. Right? Okay, so if we need to find a, a supercharging station, what do we do? Uh, you're charging? gonna go. No, you're not gonna do charging. Not gonna do charging. You can go right here to the map. What if I push this button over here? Is that, <gasps> look. Is yeah, that an Easter egg? Yeah, that's the Easter egg. That's the Mars rover. We're, we're roving. Dude, we're, we're roving. I feel like a Martian, like Matt Damon and Martian. We're that was a really great movie, it's by the way. Great. That, and, and, and who knew who was that funny? Like, it's, it's a hilarious. pretty funny movie. So, well, I'm going to ask a serious question. Uh, <clears throat> Elon Musk. So, if I'm in the navigation screen, but I'm on Mars, how am I actually going to get where I need to go? Because Mars doesn't have any streets. It has no streets at all. Like, I, like if you were over there, would you be on Uranus? It looks like Uranus. It, how would you know? Uh, we're not going to get into that in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you think? How do we do the autonomous mode here? Go for it. Please keep your hands on the wheel. We're out. So wait, is this what you were doing when you sent me the video of you going to Seattle? After yes. you got this with your feet out the window? With your feet out the window. Go for it. Try Thank you. That was synchronized. That was synchronized. It was synchronized. Oh God. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, so I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not driving, so for insurance purposes. <laughs> this is on you, Elon. I think I think I think this will be on us. No, it's definitely, it's definitely on us. It's definitely on us. But, yeah. See, yeah. I, but I can't get, oh God, oh God. You have to make them feel guilty too. Cause so I keep wanting them... to put my other foot out, but I see brake lights and, that, and then and my butt puckers. You do those exercises too? Yeah, the butt kegels. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really waiting to see the reaction from anybody next to us who's like, you're that, a that dumb mother is driving down the road <laughs> right now with his feet out the window. Well, I think we 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 both like gas cars too. We yeah, can admit yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But for that, for this moment, if somebody were to react that way, we can be like, well, f you, you're driving a gas car. Oh. That means you just gotta hold it. You know that. Oh, so when it flashes, just hold it. <laughs> is that is that what that is? Yes. Oh, so it just needs to be held. It just needs to be held. Oh, it needs to right. be reared a little bit. Uh oh. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> like, doesn't that make you a little bit nervous? No. If, I, if we want to navigate to the supercharger, how do we do that? 
navigate the supercharger. What we're gonna do yeah. is we're gonna go out of here. Oh God! It's gonna stop. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> oh God! Um, that seriously doesn't scare you? No, it doesn't scare me. Not anymore. It used to. Bam, here we go. This is really awkward that I'm in the driver's seat right now. And I love how Elon has decided to make it seem like I don't know what the hell it is I'm doing because we done put rover mode on here. <laughs> what Wait, the hell? Yeah, hit Mars. Oh, you done did it now. There we go. Got it. Navigate. See? Okay. Boom, All right. we got it. So, so where are we going? Oh, we God. That dude just straight cut us off. Yo, we almost died. Oh wait, we're gonna we gotta navigate. We gotta we gotta go over. You're, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to. I gotta intervene. Gotta intervene. Oh god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Wood Supercharger burn. Woodburn. That's it. Bam. Now we're out. Now just pull back once. Now we're back on autonomous. No, mode. No, you're not. No, you're not, bro. You're not on autonomous mode. What do you mean I'm not on autonomous mode? We're, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's really cool about this car? What's that? Other than the fact that it's literally driving us down the road right now? Yeah, and um, we're at 6% battery. Uh, no, we're at 47. Well, no, no, no. My fault. That's what we will be at when we get to Woodburn, 6% battery. It can calculate the really? percentage of your battery to your destination. Also... I can't even set the time on my VCR up. I can't even set it on my iPhone. Mm. Auto start unavailable for the rest of this drive because you are being. Uh, what? I don't know. <laughs> Hold steering wheel warning ignored multiple. Oh, because I ignored the steering wheel. You're on timeout. Why did you want the Model X? Well, honestly, to tell you the truth, um, I have these phases where I just kind of get super immersed in whatever it is that I'm interested in at the moment. And obviously leaving a carbon, you know, reducing my carbon footprint is something that, you know, I want to do like, to help our planet. But in something as sexy and technologically savvy as a Tesla, I mean, God, it's an iPad in here. It's like a child's dream. I feel like a little, like a little kid when I'm in this car, man. Like, and it's basically like an RC car. This reality that you guys are seeing could honestly go black mirror on you. You never know. Some shit could happen during this ride, people. Why does it gotta be black mirror? I mean, because that show is just pretty much the dopest thing. Oh, that's a show? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't really he's not watch on television, it. yeah. Yeah, you don't watch television. I don't. What's your favorite television show? My favorite television show um, right now that I'm watching, I like The Good Doctor, man. It's about this autistic kid who's a super, super smart and he's a, a surgeon oh i saw that show when i was a kid it's called doogie hauser yeah <laughs> yeah i love that show doogie come on you got automatic doors and you're using the handle of course What's the with you i was born in the 80s i was born in the 70s so what do i gotta do there wasn't even doors what creatures of habit <laughs> all right we're gonna plug in the supercharger <laughs> oh my god okay so Go. There will be significantly less energy available from your battery if it gets colder. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate that. that. <laughs> Jinx! <laughs> Preach. Me and Tim have been working on our synchronization. Are we, gonna, are we swimming? We can be. So does... So does the, the, the. <laughs> How long does this take? My experience with them, I've gone to Centralia when going up to Seattle. Mm -hmm. And um, set in my car, you get a lot. First of all, you can get a lot of done in this car, especially in autonomous mode. No, no, I get it. No, I'm like, I'm, no, I get out it. Out of control. I just had to throw that side, side yeah, yeah, bar yeah, in yeah. there. But how? Uh, what's the longest you've driven in in autonomous mode? And again, thank you, uh, Beast Mode, for giving us autonomous mode. Autonomous. What Beast is the mode. real word? Uh, autonomous. Automus. Autobots. Autobots. How it looks, it says automus. No, not at all. It's autonomous. No, it's autonomous. Oh, and 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 Beast Mode calls it autonomo. Autonomo. Autonomo mode. It's autonomo mode. That's that sounds better. Ala mode. I'm hungry. So this is what you do at the supercharger station. You literally sit and contemplate life. And think. And in an and in autonomo mode. Autonomo mode. <laughs> he smelled your filthy. You know what I found out? Is this car 
has a mode. All right, well, if you can't tell from the first couple beats right there, this particular Model X has a mode that also is the artist's name of this song. Yep, you guessed it. It's ludicrous. And Martel's going to show me ludicrous mode in the Model X. Oh boy, oh my <laughs> and due to licensing restrictions, we can't show you how awesome that part actually is. So I'm going to attempt to basically science theater ourselves through this thing. So as you can see, we're enjoying ludicrous. I can say ludicrous. I think I can say ludicrous. Can't get trouble for that. Uh, Martel is extremely excited about this particular mode. By the way, this is a closed course. And this is about when he makes me crap my pants. And go. <laughs> Trying to explain the, the non-visceral but visceral feel of that acceleration is, is almost impossible. It, you know, how many times I've done it, each time it grabs you by surprise. Thanks for watching Behind the Wheel. If you liked what you saw and you want to leave some comments, that's down below. If you want to see more of what we're doing, that's over here on this side. Have a great day.